Hi, welcome to Google SketchUp for Engineers. I just want to talk a little bit more about SketchUp and actually Google Earth. But first about SketchUp. SketchUp is a surface modeler. And what I mean by that is if you create something, let's say a cube, it's not solid. If you zoom in it, you'll see inside of it. But it's just a series of surfaces and edges. It's not solid. There are some programs that do solid modeling, but SketchUp is not one of them. It's just a series of surfaces and edges. And the surfaces, infinitely thin surfaces. And the thing about surfaces, too, you got to remember, is there's two faces. Typically, if you see something like this, you can set it to any color you want, but this is an inside face and you reverse it and you get an outside face. This becomes really important when you're putting textures on the system. So if you go over to your paint bucket and you want to put a texture on it, let's say a stone texture. Well, it'll work on the reverse side, but when you export it to a photorealistic program, it has a hard time with the reverse side and it rather would have the front face. So reversing faces is something you have to get used to and you have to start seeing if you go to a photorealistic render that some of your faces could be reversed and that could be a problem when you get to your photorealistic program. Another great thing you can do in Google SketchUp is integrate it with Google Earth. So let's try something. Let's say I want to draw my house where I used to live in Calgary. I go to File and let's go Geolocation, Add a Location. Well, I used to live in Canada, and I used to live at Lake Marine Green, Calgary, Alberta. So if I search that, it's already found it because I've already looked it up. But I used to live in this house right here, and I was really lucky. I lived by a man-made lake, and we'd swim over the lake. I, I'm sure you care. But you can grab the region. So let's select the region. All right, I've selected it. And you can move your push pins around a little bit and select what you want. But there's the house I want. I'm going to grab it brought it into SketchUp. Now what I can do is if I have a house model, I don't, but let's say I just drew a square and I made it big and said this is my house. I can color it just so I can see it a little bit better. I'll make it, oh I don't know, red. But there's my house model and it's actually geolocated exactly at my old location. So I could export it, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to preview in Google Earth what it would look like. So I go to preview in Google Earth. And it's just taking me my house. And you can see this is in Calgary by the lake. And this is how they add models to Google Earth. So you can add your bridges, your towers, your warehouses, and then you can search for it and you can put pictures and different things. One of the things I did in Calgary, Calgary City Hall. I worked on the Calgary City Hall with my family construction company a long time ago. So I can just click on that. And you can see they come up with pictures that some people have posted. If I click on this picture, what it does is it brings it up in your website. Oh. Bring it up, please. There it is. And there's all these pictures of locations in Google Earth that people have posted. I actually worked on all this precast down here. There's a parking ramp that I worked on and a bunch of steps and color, uh, colored, um, I don't want to say, precast. We put an integral colored dye in the precast to get it to look a certain way. But I worked a lot on the City Hall, a lot of different buildings in downtown Calgary. But it's kind of interesting. I don't know if I can find my house anymore. Lake Green Green. And 
is my house. So you can export from SketchUp and put it in Google Earth. And if you actually do a good job, you'll see the house sitting there. So that's one more thing you can do with Google SketchUp.